Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know times are kind of weird and scary considering the circumstances, but I hope every single one of you is doing well and are feeling healthy. As promised, I am gonna be uploading a lot more just to provide you guys some company if you're at home by yourself, practicing social distancing, but to also keep myself busy and keep myself sane. Even though I do work from home, a lot of the things that were in the works are just now put on hold, so I'm kind of just like in pause. I can't do anything. Like I wanna work and I just, I can't. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full day of eating, but before I do that, I wanna also take you guys through a quick, no equipment needed booty and leg workout. For this workout, you really don't need anything. I'm using a resistance band, but that's not totally necessary. And if you don't have a little towel that you want to use as a slider, you can always just use a sock. So it's pretty easy, minimal equipment, very minimal. I'll go take you guys through that really quick and I'll be right back. As promised, I will be filming a lot more at home workouts and maybe even adding in dumbbell only workouts if you wanna see that since I bought some the other day. I know gyms are closing and even if they're not, it's best to stay away from them from the time being and train from home. This workout is beginner friendly, but if you're looking for more challenging leg and booty workouts at home and more structure throughout your workout week, then I definitely recommend my at home booty guide. It's only $25 and it's eight weeks long with three workouts per week and an exercise picture glossary. Only reason I'm mentioning this is because so many girls have been messaging me telling me it's been coming in handy, especially right now. So if you're in need of an at-home guide, then mine is available on easyfitguide.com. I just know you'll love this guide, and if you do purchase it, keep me updated with your progress as I love to keep up with you guys. And for those asking for the at-home booty guide 2.0 or an abs guide, I am working on that as well and have been for quite some time. I'm just iffy on the release dates as this obviously is such a weird time and I have no clue how to act in a time like this. No one really does. And the last thing I wanna do is to release something and come off as insensitive or tone deaf to the situation we're in. But I'm also getting a lot of requests for it and questions about it. But let me know your thoughts and I'll act accordingly as your opinions do really mean a lot to me. For breakfast, I'm having boudin sausages. Still working on how to cook them because they like to fall apart, as you can see. Lately, I just haven't been into eggs or anything like that, so I'm really trying to switch it up because breakfast foods have never really been my number one favorite. Workout done, breakfast done. Let me show you guys the new little gym setup that I just got. I tried to find dumbbells on Amazon, and guess what? One, they don't sell in pairs. Two, to buy a pair of 40 pound dumbbells, hundred and like fifteen dollars minimum are you kidding me no i really didn't think i was gonna get that great of a deal but i decided to look on offer up and i got so lucky 25 through 50 pound dumbbells they come in a pair i got it for 300 bucks when i brought them home i sanitized the crap out of them and now i have a little mini gym for the time being for the time being obviously i'm not going to start training at home exclusively um i do like my machines i do like the cable machine but you know with the circumstances, I'm gonna have to train at home. And I got incredibly lucky to find this many dumbbells for such a good price. I mean, $300 is still a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but when you can only get a pair of dumbbells for like 115, are you kidding me? But obviously be safe because there are some weirdos out there and also don't touch strangers right now. Social distancing, you know, we gotta practice it. But I did not touch anyone when I went to go get these. And we kept our distance. And it wasn't like I was the only one that didn't wanna touch them. He was also like, you keep your distance, I keep mine. Put the dumbbells in the car with gloves on. Everything was great. And came home and disinfected them immediately. So everything was good. Got the little mirror here. Then I got, you know, just a basket and a fake plant. You know, for aesthetics, you know. Then I got the mat, the towels that I used today the resistance band, and a cute little Luna. I'm kind of mad at her right now. She went on the table, pushed my camera off, and now I have a crack. I don't even think you can see it. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Luna. Wow, trippy. Okay, sorry. Yesterday I was having the worst day ever. Like, the morning was just completely terrible like it was so bad and Dominic went out and got me the new Animal Crossings game to make me feel better Aww. I have never played Animal Crossing before but with all the hype about this new game I really wanted to try it out because first off cute characters what and also it was giving me Harvest Moon vibes I don't know if you guys have played Harvest Moon but that was my ish I said that I said that and I started it yesterday obviously and I've been obsessed with it ever since 
I I love it so much. It's literally taking everything in me to not stop what I'm doing right now and just play this all day. I love it so much. So right now it's 10.30. I do have quite a bit of work to get to. I have emails to answer, things to edit, planning to do. So I'll see you guys for lunch. For lunch, I'm having honey garlic glazed salmon with buttered pasta with a little bit of Tony's and Italian seasoning on top and green beans on the side. If you wanna see the recipe for this, I'll add it in the description box below. Today's what I eat in a day is pretty uneventful and that's because I am pretty much planning my content throughout this entire week and the next week and the week after that. And some of it necessarily won't have anything to do with fitness. So I hope you guys are still up for that because I know a lot of you just follow me for fitness type content, but I have a lot of fun and just weird ideas to help keep me sane and to keep you guys entertained. So I hope you guys will stick around for those videos and I hope you guys like them because I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. Since full day of eating videos are usually pretty uneventful, like it's just about food and that's it, I kind of wanted to pop in here really quick to talk about artists. I know that a lot of businesses are closing up shop right now and if people can work from home then that's great but I also know that a lot of people can't and a lot of my artist friends for the time being are selling their works from home and trying to make some extra cash on the side that way. I made a post on Instagram where I encouraged everybody to do like a little self promotion if they needed it or to shout out their favorite artists. I figured I'd do that in this video. I got this piece probably around two weeks ago. It's by at illustration by Bo. That's his Instagram handle. I'll leave it somewhere here on the screen. I would definitely recommend checking him out. His backstory is very motivating and inspiring and this work is just sick. He asked me details about myself, like about my culture, about the things I enjoyed, the things that I loved, and he incorporated it into this drawing. The detail is absolutely insane and I did order a frame for this bad boy and I can't wait for it to come in and I'm gonna hang it up somewhere within this space. Look at the detail. That is freaking crazy. That's me and that's Luna. And then you can see like the Russian architecture in the back. It is absolutely gorgeous. I know this might seem kind of random, but I just figured I'd add this into this video just in case you wanted to self promo your work because who knows, somebody might be watching this video that's also looking to support artists or that's looking for new artwork. So, you know, why not? But all right, I'm done with my random little mini spiel. I'm gonna get on to show you guys dinner. So cool. It was really good. Did it fog up the camera? No. It didn't fog it up at all. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I hope you guys are also being considerate to those around you. And I hope you guys are staying as sane as possible because we are supposed to be practicing self-isolation unless it's completely mandatory that we have to not.
If you guys wanna see any particular content from me while I'm gonna be recording for this quarantine, there's gonna be a lot coming. A lot of content's gonna be coming, okay? So if you wanna see anything in particular, definitely comment it down in the comments below because I'll most likely get to it very soon because there's not much else to do. Remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Wash your hands and I'll see you guys in the next one.